All right, back in the basement again today to talk a little bit about barbell brushes. Now I'm big on home gym upkeep. I like keeping my equipment in nice condition, number one, because when I come down to lift, it just puts me in a better mood having nice stuff. And also I tend to resell a lot of my equipment. So keeping it in as good of shape as possible helps with the resale value. And especially if you're in a garage type environment or a human environment where you're getting rust, chalk, sweat, things that are accumulating on your bar, a simple barbell cleaning can do wonders for you. So I'm gonna walk you through four of the brushes I own, all at different price points, and tell you which one I prefer. So let's go on and get into it. All right, so the first brush I'm gonna start with is actually the one that technically cost me the most. Now, full disclaimer, I paid for all of these brushes out of pocket, none were given to me for the purpose of this review, so they are coming out of my pocket. This one from Aleco technically cost me $1,200, and that's because it comes included when you buy the IPF Competition powerlifting bar, which retails for $1,200, it's a bare steel bar, but hey, at least they throw in this $6 brush for free. Now, this brush is pretty simple. It has a plastic top with the nylon bristles on the bottom. This one's actually nice because it does have a magnet on it. So if you wanted to stick it to your rack for convenience, you could, but to be honest, I do not like this style of brush. The main reason being is when you grip it, as I'm doing here, especially if you have bigger hands, it puts your fingers and knuckles really close to the barbell. So if you're going light, that's no big deal, but what you'll notice is first of all, you're gonna to have to clean the entire diameter of this bar. So either rotate the bar, rotate the brush. You only really get spot pressure on any one part of the barbell at any time. But if you're really trying to dig in there, I have the tendency to scrape my knuckles, my fingers, and if you have aggressive barbells like me, this thing can end up hurting. Now, speaking about putting pressure in just one spot area, that will also lead to the brush fraying a little bit, as you can see here, just because again, the consistent pressure is not there and you end up fraying. Now, the nice thing with these are that they're cheap. So under $10 and if they break or whatever, you can always get more, but again, just not really my preference. All right, so the next brush we're gonna talk about is a little bit of a different style. It has an extended handle on here. This one is wooden. A lot of times you'll find these in plastic, but they should all be under $10. The reason I like this style better than the previous version is because it puts your hands away from the bristles. So when you're cleaning, you're not knocking your knuckles against it. Now it does have some similar issues where again, your very small surface area is being cleaned at any given time. You're gonna have to work your way around the brush, rotate the bar. It's going to take you a while to get that grit out. Also a downside of this style is because typically you're gonna grip away from the bristles. You can't apply as much pressure or you really have to force it in. You could put your fingers on top to help aid in that, but again, then you're bringing your knuckles in closer to the bar. And you will see that these will fray over time because of that uneven pressure. Again, nice thing with this is it's cheap, easy to find, Amazon Prime next day, and you're out a couple of bucks. And I've still used a bar like this and a brush like this for many years. All right, so the next brush we're gonna talk about is actually the Hybrid 360 brush. I've used this for quite a while. I don't know if I've made a video on it. I might've talked about it in videos before, but the premise of it is it's a flexible plastic backing with obviously hard nylon bristles on it. And it's called a 360 brush, although it doesn't actually give you a 360 clean all at once. The premise here of this is you can wrap it around the bar with your hand, thus applying some very good pressure wherever your hand is. And about, I'd say about a little over 180 degrees. So a little bit more than half the bar at any time. And you can clean the bar that way. So I like this one a lot. And one of the reasons that I use it is again, because you get a large surface area being cleaned. In this case, you're not knocking your knuckles because you're using your entire palm to grip the brush. The price point on this one is just about $22 and you would have to replace the entire brush if you ever need to and you can see the ends on either side are starting to fray a little bit just because when I put pressure on it that's the part that gets dug in a little bit more and it's a good brush overall at the price point. All right, so this last brush I wanna talk about is technically the most expensive for you. This one retails for $50. It's the Barbell Rescue brush. It's twice as expensive as the hybrid brush we just looked at. To me though, it is worth the price. And one of the main reasons I've been using this the last two years is because if you look, it actually gives you that 360 degree coverage. So we've kind of been working our way up in terms of the brushes we've been talking about, how much surface area you're able to clean at once. This makes cleaning bars much easier. It operates in a clamshell type design. On the internals here, you have nylon bristles. This is a blue backing. Depending on if you buy this brush or not, you actually can pick the internals, which also means they are user replaceable. So if you need to replace them, you can. Although in the two years I've owned this, I have not had to replace that. It will probably depend on how often you're using it, how hard you're using it, and all that other good stuff. For me, 
it's been well worth the investment of 50 bucks. Now for this, as you can see, spring loaded, so it clamps onto the barbell. I say 360 degrees, but if I turn it a little bit, you do see there's a slight gap. But again, this is almost full coverage because I'm using my entire hand to pinch down. I get equal pressure throughout, which means all of these wear really, really well, because as you can again, maybe see from the internals, you don't have any fraying like you have on the previous brushes that I've showed you. So clamp it down. You guys know the deal on how to clean this but it makes cleaning a barbell really, really quick and effective. Now, obviously this is going to work better in a gym or a place if you have a lot of bars and you are short on time or just don't feel like cleaning. I will say that even though I prefer this and I like it a lot because of the convenience, I know a lot of people don't wanna spend 50 bucks on it. So you could very well use any of these other brushes that I've shown you for less but it's going to take longer and is more inconvenient. So for me, the convenience factor is where the value is on this particular barbell brush. Now, I mentioned I've been using this for two years just about, I paid for it out of pocket. I reached out to the company recently and said, hey, you know what? I've been using you guys for two years. Can you hook me up with a discount code? So they have, so if you're interested, basement will save 10%, knocks it down to $45. So not huge savings necessarily, but again, the convenience factor is more than worth it in my opinion, but you're still just as good if you wanna get the hybrid brush here, the hybrid 360. I've liked this one a lot, just doesn't cover as much and costs about 20 some bucks. You could go the cheap route on Amazon or even get yourself something branded Aleco for $6 with a magnet. But again, I just don't like these brushes as much and I'd rather pay more for something that works better and gives me more peace of mind. Let me know what brush, if any, you use in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.